Well, all right. Uh, earlier, Lee said as well that a good name is a great thing, and now here you come back and, and fortify, seal that, that saying, what the song talks say, I second that emotion. So a good name is a good name to have. But what is it when you have packed house out of packed house, your money is seemingly guaranteed, everything's going your way, while others seem to be kind of struggling? How, how is it, how did you get there? I'm sure the road wasn't easy. It hadn't always been this way. No, it hadn't been easy, but the thing is, um, like uh, Lee, Lee Williams and Spirits QC, they have been doing this before I got here. You know, they had, you know, they got hot and stuff. Um, but I urge people, and I tell everybody, especially when I'm on Facebook, you know, it don't matter if you got a hit song or not, uh, but if you got a hit song, a hit song won't do you a bit of good if you don't have a business straight mind. Because the industry, you know, it's, to me, it's like a gangster business. You okay. know? Yeah. These companies, they, they know what they're doing. They've been in the business long enough to know, you know, how to get money uh, from you. So, but if you walk in, if you walk in right, God first, and have a business mind. Um, and it's, it's not too many companies that have your best interests at heart. Those will steer away from you, but the ones that are really interested to see that you have talent, and as long as you walk in the door correct, God first, and, and business mind, you know, speaking of attorney, you know, you have what you call a production team. Um, Everything will work out in your favor. So are you saying to me, because I'm an independent artist, and guess what? I've invested everything in, so when it's profit time, I gain all the profit. Are you saying to me that that number one artists like yourself, that at the end of the day, you need to go back and be uh, independent artist once you have had the number one record and once you're self-sufficient? That, should that be the goal well, for quartet artists? Well, quartet is, is now disrespected in a sense because of lack of knowledge. But you know, every night, you know, every weekend we go out, we don't always get our money. You know, because everybody, you have different people trying to get, you know, what they can out of it. But when you have a reputation and a good name for, you know, handling your business the right way, there's not too many people that want to deal with you. But, I mean, they'll respect you at least. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap this up, and, and, and trust me, I really don't want to do it because this is like the second uh, interview because we kind of talked. This will be last. Yeah, right. We okay. kind of talked in, in the hallway in Jackson when you came with the Mike Cloud door. And we talked about the business, and I thought it was very interesting that we didn't talk about anything else. We were talking about being a business mind. And I think that if there's anything that you, that I think you have a mind and mental to do, is to teach young musicians that handle their business. So I encourage you, since you got all your own Facebook, don't sugarcoat it. Tell us, you just like Oh, I won't sugarcoat it. You know, a lot of record companies might not like it. Yeah. Some individuals might not like me, but I'm gonna tell it to you like it is, you know. You just be up front with your business, handle your business, and don't be scared to say anything. Just make sure what you say, you say it in the correct manner. Um, keep God in your conversation. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it'd be hard to get around a hard to argue with, you know, but I'll say this to the musician, though, the working musician. If you want to be a musician and you feel it in your heart and you have the ear, like I said before, put God first. Stay humble. You know, it's, it's, there's some folk out here that got, you know, some mannerisms that I prefer not to talk about. Yeah, man. <laughs> so... But you got to stay on. Stay, um, but the main thing is work on your craft. Stay on. You know, um, and every time I pick a guitar, up, just about every time, I'll learn something different and learn something new. And um, I give all credit to God. Man, you know. So that's the best one. Oh, I, well, we're going to wrap it up. We've been speaking with Aldi Hollis. Uh, Lee Williams in the spirit that you see. I want to tell you, thank you, man, for giving yes, us a little time. They're thank calling you. for you right now. Yeah, I gotta go. So you got to go. Guess what? Facebook, YouTube. There it is. Aldi Hollis. Peace. BLJ, LRT Production. Love you.